Hey everyone, thought I'd better start posting some pictures, some info on the ASS board considering this board will be going into production in the next couple of weeks. So a few more weeks after that it will be available um, to buy. Um, ASS, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is, is the cut down version of Taipan. Uh, Taipan would be very expensive for me to make so I'm going to start off making ASP and gradually wake my way up to Taipan. Um, having said that, don't be fooled, ASP has almost all of the features of Taipan on it. Um, I'm saving costs by using a different motor controllers um, and a different soundboard. Okay, um, so this is the ASP board. It's meant to be as much plug and play with your Tajin Henglong as possible. So you'll see it's got the Henglong style turret connectors, um, motor connectors, and so forth. So basically, I want this board, you should be able to, with this board, just whip out your RX-18, plug this board in, and away you go. Okay, it's meant to be as, as simple as that. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just fire it up into action. I, I, I think if I was to go through all the features, it would take quite a long time. But um, how I have this board particular set up is for airsoft or um, airsoft operation. Now, basically, with the new with the hang long and the Tajin tanks, you've got that micro switch. Uh, that micro switch basically controls when the firing sequence takes place. So if you're using airsoft, there's a little jumper here that you set in airsoft position, and that will then look for the micro switch to control the fire. If you're not using airsoft, if you want to scale motion of your tank, you would just simply move this jumper over there. I might do a, another video with the jumper moved into the scale scale tank position. I'm going to call the two airsoft or scale. Um, scale will also be for IR. Okay, so that's your ass board. Now here is the soundboard. Okay, a little bit different to the previous soundboard. Um, believe it or not, even though it has two SD cards, this this unit is is a bit cheaper than the bigger board. Um, so you've got basically one sound card here that takes care of all your engine noises and one sound module, we should call them sound module here, to take care of all the other noises. It's duophonic, which means obviously well, there's two sound sources so you can't have more than two sound sources going at once. The bottom bit here is a, is a powerful 20 watt amp. I strongly suggest that you upgrade your speakers. You will blow up the little 3 watt hang long speakers using that power amp. Okay, now this is again, as I said, the production versions are going to be a little bit different. I found with this sound card, they're just these three connection points just weren't enough. It, it does rock a bit, so I'm adding an extra connection point and maybe a bolt in the middle to hold it down. But um, those of you with Elmod experience or any other type thing experience there, that you'll just notice there's a daughter board sort of situation. You just line up the pins and push it down. Okay, so everything's connected up. Now, one of the first features of Type, oh, I'm gonna call it Taipan, but this is ASP and Taipan, is that you are able to start the tank in a number of different ways, depending on, on which, oh, there's my radio, which switch you use. I'm gonna start off um, just because I want to save time, um, you've got four different engine noises, engine start sounds. I'm going to choose the shortest one first up. So that's just for me, I've got it set up to go like that. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll turn the tank on. Now, welcome back. You've got that welcome sound. Of course, all these sounds you can change. So if you don't like that, you can just change that sound. Or if you don't even want that sound, you just program, say, a second or two of silence. Now, once the unit is on, as per usual, as per all, you know, just because you're familiar with heading along, um, the headlight will flash like that. And that tells you that ASP is receiving a valid signal from your radio and your receiver. Okay? It also is calibrating at this point. So don't muck around with any of your throttle or turret type controls. You simply apply your channel 5 switch. So here we go. Now, as I said, as per Heng Long, um, once you start up, your smoke machine will, will be going. Um, 
Now you can, I've got it, a jumper in there, so it will automatically come on. You can of course take that out to a switch so you still have manual control. But you can also control it from your radio. So I've set up a switch on the radio so you can turn on and off your smoke machine. Okay, smoke machine's off. You may have also heard the noise, so you can have a separate smoke machine off noise. Actually, we'll run through all those noises. Um, here, again, you've got a channel five switch to turn on and off your headlight. You've got a switch to turn on and off your auxiliary light. And here it is over here, a big blue auxiliary light. Okay, so you've got headlight control and, and, and an auxiliary light control. Now we've got two different machine guns. Okay, oh, you can, you can see that one there. So machine gun one and machine gun two, which I've got on a white LED. Okay, so you have two machine guns. Again, switches are set up on your radio to control those. We also have, what else do we have? What other fantastic little features can I show you? Uh, the automatic reverse light. So as soon as you go into reverse, okay, the reverse light will come on. Now let's have a look at that, that motion, the sound. Um, you have a, your idle sound, which you hear now. You then, as you go into motion, there's a transition sound that moves from idle to motion. Okay, and we'll try and get that sound happening. There you'll hear that, and that's in motion one, and it's proportional as we go up. To full throttle. And as we come down, you've also got a sound that transfers from motion to a stop position. Similarly with your turret. Now, no matter what, you, where you connect your turret, the turret will always be proportional. Um, so there's a turret start and a turret stop sound as for the motion. So here we go. You hear how the turret sort of sped up to start spinning. And then... And then you've got that turret stop sound. If you're just doing a very fast install, you'll be putting your elevation motor on this 8-pin connector. When you do that, the way the Heng Long system and wiring is set up, you cannot have proportional control over your elevation. Okay, so you will need to modify this if you want proportional control. So at the moment I have it just plugged into the 8-pin connector, and as you can see, there's no there's no control. There's no directional control either. If you want directional control, you'll have to do this modification yourself. You'll have to isolate the, um, the wires to your elevation motor, and they just plug into this pin set of pins at the back of us there. And now you should have proportional control of your gun elevation as well as directional control. So we can go one way. Oh, that's not very good, but we'll, I'll fix that. And then we can rotate back the other way. Okay, I've got a bug there. Don't worry about that, I'll fix that up. I think I know what I've missed in the code. But as you can see, that way we'll rotate that direction. This way we'll rotate that direction. So you will have proportional control over your, over your gun elevation. Okie dokie. Um, I think I'll end that there. It's a pretty long video, gone almost 10 minutes. Um, and then also the shutdown sound. And then when you shut down, of course, because it's still receiving a valid signal, um, your, your lights will flash. If you were to turn off, I think, yeah. So turning off your radio, and I'll fix that again, um, that light should go solid to let you know your, your radio is on. But Carrying on like that will let you know that you've still everything powered up and you need to turn off your system. Okay, I'll end it here and um, get back to more videos soon.